Hi everyone, this is Shiva from iTunes and Academy. Welcome back to our Kubernetes interview question series. Today we'll be discussing about our next question and here it is. So the scenario is that you deployed an application in Kubernetes and the customer is accessing the application. Now, is the customer accessing the application using data plane or control plane? Okay, so read the question twice. So the question is mainly about if you as a DevOps engineer or a cloud engineer or a SRE have deployed an application, now the customer will obviously be accessing the application, right? Through which channel is the customer accessing? Through data plane or control plane, right? So take a pause here, get your answer, and next you can uh, go through the recommended answer, okay? So now let me come back to my one note. So the question majorly arises that, how come a customer or, or where is the customer accessing your application? through control plane or data plane. Why is the question even asked? Why? Because as we all knew that Kubernetes cluster is a combination of master nodes as well as worker nodes, right? And typically all the master components will be coming from the control plane as well as all the data plane components are coming from the worker nodes, right? So now if you see Let's assume this is a master node and these are the worker nodes. Obviously, we'll be having multiple worker nodes and multiple masters as well, right? So based upon your architecture. Now, if a customer is trying to act as application, ideally, he will be going towards a worker nodes only, meaning he will be accessing the application to the data plane. And here, the access will be through queue proxy and all, but ideally, the customer will be accessing through the data plane only, not to the control plane. Then why is control plane even available? Now, as a DevOps engineer, if you want to perform any sort of operations on the component, on the cluster, let's say if you want to deploy an application, or if you want to create a PVC, or if you want to deploy any sort of a ingress controller, now you will be interacting with the API server sitting on the control plane through kubectl, right? So in that case, we, we as a DevOps engineers will be communicating to the control plane, but the customers will obviously be communicating to the data plane. So you can convey in this way, right? So for the better purpose, let me do one thing. Anyhow, I'm creating the notes, right? Let me write down the answer for this. So the question is the same. I'm writing, uh, let me write at least uh, two or three liners so that you will be having good understanding and you can frame the answer accordingly. It's not like you need to tell the same answer get the inputs and frame the answer according to your requirement, okay? So ideally, ideally, uh, the application we deploy, you can tell the interview in this way. Ideally, the application we deploy, um, um, few are internet-faced applications and few are internal applications, okay? And internal applications can be accessible inside the cluster only. Meaning all your APIs and all, obviously we won't expose them outside. So we'll be exposing them only internally through cluster IP, okay? Now, to the question that they asked, even if it is internal or external, when a customer is trying to access, is trying to access the application, okay, they will route through data plane only, okay, uh, as in data planes, also called as worker nodes. Okay, even if, even if it's internal or, or external, when a customer is trying to access application, they will route to data plane only, as in data plane, also will worker nodes. This is where actual work will happen. Meaning all the workloads will be taken care of by the worker nodes only. If I want to perform any admin operations, like um, deployments, accessing API server, 
in those cases i will be interacting with interacting with control plane okay so at the end of the day you should be having an understanding that we as a devops engineers will be communicating to the api server through kubectl and that is on the control plane customers who are trying to access application they will be coming towards a data plane through kube proxy and able to access the application if you knew that difference you can frame the answer in a couple of different ways as well and convey the interview as well right so yeah uh, that's it for the video if you haven't subscribed to my channel do subscribe and i'm available on instagram as well as i27 academy and if you are really interested if, if you want to uh, get the latest updates and all you can follow me on instagram as well right and see you in the next video till then happy learning bye for now